And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Hecarim Endure. We're going to try a new version of Hecarim Endure where we're not actually focused on any ephemeral units too much. We have a couple of things that can create ephemeral units like Blighted Caretaker and Sapling Toss and Callista. Um, but we're not playing Shark Chariot, so we're not really too focused on Hecarim's level up. Instead, we're going to just play um, better cards on both offense and defense and cards that hit harder and so we're going to be focusing on some fearsome cards i really like both arachnoid horror and mist wraith right now with the fearsome i do think that they're they're pretty good <clears throat> and of course with mist wraith one of the most important cards is wraith caller we've been playing a little bit of wraith caller here recently and it's a card that i've been really impressed with so we're going mostly all Shadow Isles. We're just splashing for two Freljord cards, Omen Hawk, because we need an, an awesome one drop. So might as well play the best one. And They Who Endure, which of course is going to be our top end card after we have a whole bunch of things die. Um, we're going to have that. So you all know like the, the uh, Elise Callista They Who Endure deck. That deck hasn't been super popular recently. I'm hoping that this version can go a little bit bigger um and uh you know not not be as fragile as that one that's what i'm hoping like i'm hoping the wraith callers get us a lot of value um and then we have two big things at the top end to attack for a lot so not only they who endure uh, which is huge in attacks for a lot but also hecarim you know hecarim six mana it says attacks for five but really as you all know it attacks for nine bringing the other spectral riders in um, if we have like a harrowing with it with hecarim that can be amazing. Um, so, you know, we're, we're going to try to use these two cards to finish the game out and hopefully get some good damage in early with fearsome cards. They either can't block or don't really want to block with the horror, mist, wraith, um, wraith caller uh, combination. Plus, Callista also has fearsome as a good body. And so, you know, we can do a lot of, uh, have a lot of early pressure with that and get extra damage in. And so then, even if our They Who Endure isn't as big, you know, maybe it's like a 6 6. They've taken more damage. It helped. Uh, it can still finish the job. All right, so we're gonna play some Hecarim Endure here. We're gonna go play five games over in a ranked. Yes, yeah, so our back. So we're using the Shadow Isles board. So the background is Shadow Isles. That's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't change the deck name. I forgot. You get to right now. There's a bug in the game where you can see what uh, the deck name of the opponent. So I have to go change our deck name because otherwise they can. Uh, click on the deck and see what that is. Straight. With quiet steps, the dragon approaches. Okay, they got the claws of the dragon, so we'll trade. <clears throat> Had their good answer. Oh, I shouldn't attack there. I shouldn't trade because of uh, because of solitary monk. I should make them pick that back up if they want to. Okay, well, they had shadow assassin, so didn't matter. But we really want to draw wraith collar. Wraith collar. Wraith collar. Caller, not crawler. Caller. Nope. No place for the kind anymore. <laughs> they have a formal. That's a formal. The deck name. The problem is, is they do have a free, I mean, they have a free pass to, to Heimerdinger. So they have Heimerdinger, we're just in a lot of trouble. I just hope they don't have Heimerdinger. 
But yeah, they they do nothing now. Um, post combat, they play Heimerdinger. I could I could just pass, and then they don't get two. But I can't just pass because we're just taking four elusive damage every turn. So I can't just pass. I just gotta hope they don't have Heimerdinger. Cool. That's fine with me. Order entropy, a never ending cycle. Hmm. That's not cool. Yep, yep. Zero mana cards, yay. Thresh has only seen one thing die. Hey, Cabo. Yeah, Chronicler Ruin is mostly for Wraith Caller, um, but then also like Mist Wraith, resetting those, uh, killing something to help Thrash or Callista level up, um, killing Rekindler to get another thing. That's not all the stuff that it's doing. But yeah, it's, biggest thing is the Wraith Caller synergy. That's the biggest thing. Uh, wish I had one extra man I could glimpse beyond this so they wouldn't get those turrets. But I am glad they're using that all that direct damage on the Thresh and not on me. So I could cast Harrowing. Um... Harrowing gets denied, the game's over, and I just get those three things. Like, that's not even really that great. I'm gonna just play Rekindler instead. Okay, so at least we get to Glimpse Beyond so they don't get the 8 8, but. I still have all these elusives. So attack with the one one if they want to block with Shadow Assassin. That's cool with me. We got you know that'll help out Withering Whale. Yeah, we had like a two mana deny plus draw two guards. Cast. But then our thing still died. So maybe we didn't have that. So going the Gra Grastheon dying on the Heimerdinger is going to be important because that would keep them from getting the 3-1. Okay, well they'll still get the... Oh no, I'm... Ugh. I need another mana.
Yeah, I need another mana, don't I? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nah, I'm one mana short. I need the I need the mana for Withering Whale. Heimerdinger wins again. I don't I don't think I had any more Vile Feasts. I think I'm only playing two. As far as I know. Yeah, I'm only just playing two and I already had both of them. Changing the deck name just to current deck so other people can't see it. Ugh. The Solitary Monk change is going to be a good one, changing that to a 3-3. That's how that card really should be. Okay, so we're playing against Noxus. I think I'm Mulligan Glimpse Beyond. And um, besides that, I like these three. Uh, Crimson Disciple is the card I want to see the least, probably. I have my orders. Like, that's good. I like seeing that. Hey, Anmo. I like seeing that too. So I can. We'll just file fees. This, this will, this will have end up with me taking the least amount of damage. But then I'm not gonna blighted caretaker and get a lot of value from blighted caretaker. Never mind, we still can. Um, hmm. Or I can Callista and get that in play. And start leveling up Callista. Okay, so plan is we take a lot of damage, but we have level up Callista. We're going to use Grasp the Undying to kill this Basilisk Rider and gain three life. Um, let's go straight to combat. Get Mist Wraith, right? Yeah. So get get a new Mist Wraith, which you know pumps up the Mist Wraiths another plus one now. So that's cool. Wow. That 
That's good that that worked. You know, I was worried about transfusion. Which would have been the worst case scenario, but also even just Noxian Fervor would have been kind of meh. Okay. So we're still taking, we actually take one damage from that, because we take two from the Crimson Disciple, two from the the Legion Grenadier. Um, this thing missed the overwhelm tr thing thing, so they know so they know they have a so they have another harrowing on top. Um, I think I just take this and go to ten and just kind of rely on swinging back and killing them with these things as is um, I don't want to oh I guess they can't they can't cast harrowing they have seven mana I was gonna say I don't want to do stuff free combat because of their harrowing um, Let's get a good look at you. But, but this should kill them Okay. That was better. <laughs> yeah, we handled that was a good Noxus hand, you know, like they had like one drop double one drop or just like one drop one drop crimson disciple and then the four mana six four overwhelm and then i don't remember what they did and then harrowing on turn six they didn't do a, t a ton on turn five Ooh, do i keep the second callista fake harrowing see atrocity People have some long deck names. Do I keep second Callista? I think so. Callista's good body, 4-3 for three. I don't know if I want the third Callista. At least Black Spear is a good uh, champion spell. Love it. I was gonna say, hopefully we hit the two drop. You know, whether this one or Arachnoid Horror. This will shake him. Damn it. All right, cool. We hit them both. I'll take that. And it's, I'm perfectly fine with this trade because we're not taking any, you know, like we're trading cards without taking damage, which that's good. I and mean, we got more Kalistas. So we find there. Alright, they kind of dead. Hmm. Unlikely that they'll have things that match two four threes this turn. It's possible, but I think it's still worth playing two four three fearsomes, even though I know I could get eight damage in. But I think it's just it's just a good chance the two four three fearsomes are better. I could have gone Chronicler of Ruin, which would be a three three plus a five and then a five and then also a Bark Beast. But maybe I should have done that. Maybe go with these two instead. But glad we did those pre combat. We got an extra four damage in. Yeah, 
Yeah, and they're four three fearsomes. Not even just four threes. Oh, I guess I, I'm supposed to play Bark Beast first. Oh no, we didn't we didn't trigger that. I don't bite. Okay, so we would have to worry about harrowing if I want to play they who endure. They could go harrowing on defense. Um, and they've had Cato, and they've had what three things die? No, four things. Or like yeah, so they'd have they'd have Iron Ballista and the. The 6-4 Overwhelm and Kato. So they'd have three good defensive things. Um, so we're going to just attack like this. And yeah, putting the Bark Beast at the end. Because they're gonna, they'll kill something. And then Bark Beast will be a Probably could have dealt that one extra damage. Probably could have dealt that that one extra damage um, in there if I would have gone the four drop first, which I guess I guess the Chronicler of Ruin would have missed, so it wouldn't wouldn't have worked. But yeah, you can see how we just completely bullied Noxus. Our stuff was actually bigger. Now we had we had just a really ideal hand, like that that was a, a perfect hand that we had. But you can see our, our perfect hands can actually bully Noxus around, which Noxus is the deck that's been bullying everything. And so if we can do that, that's really ideal. You know, that's amazing. But, you know, we had Omen Hawk that hit a two drop that gave us a three, three, two drop. And then we had Callista and then uh, Wraith Caller and then Callista plus another two drop. They got the plus one, plus one from Omen Hawk. So our hand was just perfect. But um, shows how much power we can we can have. And this is a kind of matchup where having the fearsome, our fearsome two drops should really help out. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep Bark Beast. Maybe not. Okay, fine. I guess we'll keep Bark Beast. Because they're, they're plant Like, they try to block it. Like, Omen Hawk and uh, Sentry, right? Like, those are their two cards that are really important. Um, especially, you know, especially Sentry. You know, sometimes they play Hapless Aristocrat. Some of them do. And having those kind of cards, having Fearsome. Like, Fearsome's perfect against this stuff. Even Braum can't block Fearsome. I wanted to wait on trading with Omen Hawk. You know, Omen Hawk's gonna trade, but I wanted to wait till we have Kalista in play to do any kind of trading with that. I uh, definitely don't need these atrocities yet. Those are honestly the worst card for us to have early. So that's kind of unfortunate that we that we've drawn both atrocities, and now they who endure. We have three useless cards. <laughs> so not what we want to be drawing at all. Yeah, Bark Beast isn't amazing. No, I mean, I, I have two Bark Beasts. It's not something that I love either. But it's, it's a one mana card. But no, it's not something that I love either. Uh, Tavern Keeper does some good blocking. I wish my hand was better. These cards are so meh. Bigger than you. 
Okay, a couple of things dying for the Hewinder. My other one mana slot is, you know, two Bark Beast, one Sapling Toss. Oh, man. Yeah, these five draws, not very good. Not very good. I wish we have more Wraith Callers. I wish we could play more than three. And more of the Fearsome 2 drops. Are you kidding me? Like, what is this junk? It's a Wefian. It's a problem with late game cards. Sometimes you draw them early. Their hand was pretty awesome. They had good stuff. They didn't do anything turn two, but... You know... Aristocrat, Kindly Tavern Keeper, Braum. Not bad. Uh, no, I don't want to play Ice Veil Archer. It's a Frail Yord card. Missing on Wraith Caller is devastating. I don't want to play for all your cards. Nothing escapes my just have two. Just have Omen Hawk and They Who Enter. Yeah, I know. It's embarrassing. I got nothing. Let's go out for this is fun, yes? No. It's not fun at all. Not in the slightest. Brahm's got jokes. <laughs> so we went from last game as good as our deck can look, like our deck looked amazing last game, to this game as bad as our deck can look. So it went, went from one to the other pretty quickly. Everyone's a garden. If these all resolve, we'll just clear up the board and nobody has anything. I'd be fine with that. Okay. These things are getting a little bigger. They could maybe steal this game still. They must have just drawn that glimpse beyond off of the Avrosen Sentry. And yeah, because it was on the side of, of their their hand. It was over here. They, so yeah, they must have just drawn that card, because otherwise they would just play that. The spirit of winter awakens. Um I can't I don't think I just pass back to them, because they could just pass and not attack and make me waste my turn. Snow, wind, and ice. Yeah, a little surprised they would attack there. Um, so I could either play, I could play another they who endure and go for lethal, but then if they have ruination, I'm out of luck. Or I go straight to attacks, but then they can just vengeance this, and then I'm kind of out of luck because I just wasted a good attack turn with just a vengeance. Or. 
We try like Wraith Caller plus Callista. I'm gonna go this route. I take riskier plays when uh, when behind and when uh, when the chances aren't like the chance of that working out isn't isn't like super super high, but the payoff is really really high. If that does work out, it has a really high payoff, and so that's why I'm taking that risk. Because if it does work out, even like because that that play even through vengeance, they still take. Um, they still take 11, and then I can have, like, atrocity set up for the next turn. The payoff is really high, and I think, like, whenever whenever you have a game that hasn't gone that well, I don't think doing the safe play... Like, basically, like, where we're at here, I just... I wasn't really... I was more interested in doing the play that could pay off um, really highly than the safe play. Does that make sense? So yeah, it was it was definitely risky, but I I like doing riskier plays, uh, and I I think riskier plays are okay later on in a game where you're behind or your opponent looks like they're probably gonna win. They got lots of stuff and you don't. I think that's a a good time for good solid time for a risky play. Um. The only way my my opponent's so happy. My my deck drew as poorly as it possibly could <laughs> this whole game. And my opponent is so happy. I'm I'm glad they're happy though. They they can be happy. Um. So basically I'm saying I don't I don't regret playing the 11 11 into the ruination any of the risk. Um Is there any way we can win this? Not really, no. Okay. I do the same play again. Also, hopefully, not to draw double atrocity, double um, they who endure as my first five draws. Draw four of those in my first five cards to draw. Hope hopefully, not do that again either. Do I want Vile Feast against them? Oh, That's the same person from before. So we'll we'll keep one Vile Feast. <laughs> but you were punished, so it's obviously the wrong play. Oh, sarcasm. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a high-risk play, but the... Um, I think that was our our best chance of winning. I think, like, just... Odds-wise, we were better... I know what lurks in the we had a better chance of winning going that, even though... It's like... Yeah, even though, like, we had the chance of getting completely blown out, which we did... You can't be afraid to look bad, if that makes sense. Can't be afraid to look bad. And getting getting to They Who Endures Ruination looks bad. So we're going to do this so we don't take any overwhelm damage. I'm thinking about cutting an atrocity with playing these games. I have kind of hated this atrocity. I have really hated these atrocities.
That's a card I need last turn. Or like I need I need this card this turn. Camera refreshed. Oh, I can't wait. If they don't break, they'll burn. That's a lot of damage. So now Darius is already leveled up if they have a Darius from just one attack hit and then that and their ability. And that one ability. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't just blanket say that aggro players aren't good players. I would that at all. Um, just gonna let this happen, and if they do some kind of tricks, we'll have our own tricks. Okay, stun there. So I can. Yeah, I'm gonna atrocity. We could vengeance. I think this is a good time to. <clears throat> Maybe it's not a good time to atrocity. Let's see. So, okay, if I Vengeance, and I, I Vengeance the Basilisk Aggro, or the, sorry, Basilisk Rider, if I, if I Vengeance this thing, we take four, and we go down to six. If I Atrocity, we only take two. Um, but then we also get to keep Wraith Caller, so actually it's probably better just to do this. Just keep Wraith Caller and take two, or take four. Ugh. Maybe not. Now we're down to three. Uh... Maybe we do have too many top end cards. I don't know. We are we are drawing these top end cards like crazy. Maybe that's just kind of bad luck. We have, we basically have the seven top end cards. If you think about two Atrocity, three They Who Endure, which is five, and two Hecarim, seven. We have those seven top end cards. I guess we have one Harrowing. That would be an eight. That is 20% of the deck. That is a lot. We are seemingly drawing those cards at an abnormally high rate. Andrew Kindler, so that's a ninth. Hmm. Maybe that is too many. I mean, that's one or two too many. Play they who endure. Don't have the mana. Don't have the mana. So they had to have had one of those in their hand the last game, too. I wonder why they didn't play one of those in the last game. I guess... 
I guess could they not could they not play one of those and still have the mana for the writer? Why do they not play one of those the last game or the la not the last game, sorry, the last turn. The last turn whenever I withering wailed. Why did I guess they didn't want to do that yet? I don't know. Well that was an unfortunate loss. Find some things. I mean, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, then, I mean, the, the Vengeance isn't really a late-game card. I don't really count that, but it is an expensive card. It is a lot, of, a lot of expensive cards. Our deck looks so good when we have these two, three, four, you know, either Horror or Mist Wraith, and then, like, Callista, and then, like, Wraith, Wraith Caller, Cronkler, Ruin. Well, they didn't know that, they didn't know it would be lethal, because they didn't know about, well, yeah, so, like, why didn't, because, yeah, they could have just responded to, I guess they didn't want to, okay, so, basically, they don't want to use that to respond to my Withering Whale because I had the mana to use, you know, another removal spell. And, and the one that I had was I had I had Atrocity, so I could have used Atrocity to kill their thing in response. Um, but yeah, two Atrocities does not seem like the right number of Atrocities right now. What if... What would we want to play? Would it be Ethereal Remitter? One copy of Dead Bloom Wanderer. I don't think I'm that interested in Frenzied Skitter. I could see playing one one copy of, of Dead Bloom Wanderer with you know with all these Noxus decks and everything. Um, it's not it's not very good against the PNZ decks with Mystic Shot like your Heimerdinger type stuff. It's basically just kind of good against Noxus. Um, it's kind of like that. Yeah, I don't really want Skitter. That two health is pretty meh. Yeah, Dead Bloom's a pretty good card. Yeah, Dead Bloom's good. I just kind of had harrowing in there. We never really drew it. It's not really a card that I really want anyway. We can we can definitely take out harrowing and get one more curve filler, a two or a three mana card. I just wish we could play more champions. You know, like our deck would be awesome with having Elise and Callista and Thresh and Hecarim. Like all four of those cards are awesome. I wish we could just play all of them. This is definitely a deck that would love having all sorts of champions. Um, I could, we could play one Ethereal Remitter. That card's really not bad. But maybe we just take that out and play um, another vile, play a third vile feast, or a dead bloom wanderer. Um, those are kind of the, or remitter. Those are kind of the leaders in the clubhouse. Maybe another grasp the undying. Grasp the undying did look pretty good. Do so much without those cards. Uh, well, I still want I want cheap things. I I don't want you know I don't want everything to be expensive. I want I want um, 
inexpensive units. I want one drops. Um, and so we have two bark beasts and a sapling toss. Um, I guess I could play a third bark beast. I don't, I don't, but I don't love either one. Um, and so that's why I don't want to, I don't want to play like a lot of them, but having a sapling toss isn't not, not bad at all. I, I've been generally able to take pretty good advantage of sapling toss and use it as a one mana removal spell. Um, yeah, like it's, it's usually, you know, it's, it's mystic shot. It's just mystic shot that you have to set up but it helps level up your Callista or Thrash and it gives you a target for a Blighted Caretaker if you want. It's not like a great card and I don't want to like be drawing a bunch of Sapling Tosses in the late game. I'm not playing three, but it's something that I'm reasonably happy with having one. It's it's one mana of spell mana. It's very easy to, to find one, one spell mana to be able to use and uh, just do stuff with it. You know, you can like chat like if they don't have very many fearsome blockers, you can challenge the fearsome blocker and get extra damage in and stuff like that. But it's not it's you know, I don't really want a second, but I'm I'm very happy with, with having one copy. It has it has a really good role. I don't know, I guess I would just say a a, a dead bloom wander, I suppose. Um, could see that being a grass the undying, uh, but yeah, it's it's another it's another unit that dies for they who endure. Um, the sapling toss, you know, you get to use that. You can have that sapling die also, which helps turn on bark beast. So it helps enable bark beast, and it's also not something that you're going to hit with omen hawk, right? Like you don't really want your you don't want your sapling to be your thing that you hit with omen hawk, and then <laughs> that thing just dies right away, and you're like, man, I didn't even get really good value out of my omen hawk. So it's cool that. Uh, you know, if you draw Sapling Toss right after Omen Hawk, you don't. It, this thing doesn't get the plus one plus one because it's a spell. It's another plus. But yeah, there's a lot of good stuff with this deck. I think we ran into some some rough luck the last two games um, with how we drew, but yeah, a lot of good stuff with the deck. Honestly, maybe it shouldn't have rekindled or sorry, maybe we shouldn't have Hecarim. Maybe you know, like. Uh, Maybe we should have just like Thrash and just have Callista plus Thrash. That could be the thing to do. Um, just have those two. But anyway, there we go. That's Hecarim and Dur. We'll go on to our next one. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. If you got any good suggestions for the deck, um, I am all open to it. But you know, I want I want to have the fearsome, the early fearsome stuff, Wraith Caller. Chronicler for Wraithcaller, you know, do that kind of Shadow Isle stuff. And then the heavy hitters at the top end, Hecarim, They Who Endure, that can close out games. We just don't want to draw all of our They Who Endures and Atrocities um, so early like we were doing. We were drawing, you know, four plus of those, those last couple of games. But that's all right. Anyway, thank you so much for watching some Hecarim Endure, and I'll see you for the next video.